It felt like the ultimate fighting championship. Even Big John McCarthy, an internationally known UFC judge, presided over each fight. But it was more than that, more than glamour or pride. It was proof of their training, their hard work that might save their life one day. Before I um, learned combatives, I didn't know too much about fighting, but since I learned combatives now, I feel like if I'm in, outside in the other world, I can take on anybody who try to take on me. It keeps guys from being fearful if they end up getting into a hand-to-hand -hand combat. It makes you jump into a fight. You know, if you gotta go hand-to-hand, -hand, you gotta go hand-to-hand, -hand, you're not scared. For John Whitworth, victorious in his match, the training has already paid off in real combat. Having to actually take down a guy in Iraq when I was out there, and actually, you know, the skills do enhance. It's like, snap, 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 it's not, oh, what do I do next? Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Garcia says these events are necessary to keep soldiers in perfect shape if they are deployed again into dangerous territory. This hand-to-hand -hand combat and the Army training combatives allow soldiers to prepare for hand-to-hand -hand combat in any situation. But that doesn't mean the soldiers can't have a little fun as well. Unbelievable adrenaline in the building right now. What a great, great warrior spirit going on. You can hear from behind me right now, the soldiers are absolutely tuned to this type of uh, sporting event.